Race Predictions Mini Lesson and Example. Before we begin, let's recap what we've already learned. Race stands for restate, answer, cite evidence, and explain. We use race to answer a question in a well with well-written response. First, we want to read the question. Remember to use the sentence starters if you're having trouble. You want to restate the question in your own words. You want to answer with your opinion. Then you want to cite evidence from the text or your own experiences to support your opinion. You want to further support that by explaining the evidence and showing your understanding. So before we get into that, I just wanted to recap about predictions. So let's review how to make a good prediction. Good readers make predictions by thinking about what will happen next. A prediction is a guess you made using a text or picture clues to help you. Before reading, you want to look at the title and illustrations, or even the table of contents. During reading, you want to stop as you're reading and predict what will happen next in the story with the characters, setting, plot, which includes events and conflict, and sometimes even resolution. After reading, you want to confirm or adjust your prediction. Were you right? Ways that we can talk and write about predictions are using the following sentence starters. I predict that since blank happened blank, I bet. I think blank will happen because. I bet the character will blank because. Any of those sentence starters you could use. So we're going to think about the story Chrysanthemum. And the question that we're going to be answering is, write a prediction you made in your book this week. Why did you have this prediction? What evidence from the book supports that this prediction is correct? Use specific evidence and explain your answer. Don't forget page numbers. The first step is to restate. The example I have here says, while reading the book Chrysanthemum, I made many predictions. So we can see we took the question and flipped it and reworded it into our topic sentence. And we made sure to mention the title. Answer. You want to answer all parts of the question. So we put for answer, I made a prediction that Chrysanthemum was not looking forward to going to school because of her name. Now I'm going to find evidence to support that. So I'm going to pick out some examples for the site. According to the text, which is one of those sentence starters we talked about, According to the text, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she had a different name, walked as slowly as she could on her way to school, and dragged her feet in the dirt. So these are three different examples from the text that show my answer, that show Chrysanthemum was not looking forward to going to school because of her name. This is a picture book, so I don't have page numbers, but if I was reading a novel, this is where I would include page numbers under, the, under sight. Now we're going to take the next step, which is the most important step, explain our evidence. So I put, when Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane, this showed me that she no longer thought her name was absolutely perfect. Earlier in the story, when Chrysanthemum was on her way to school, she was excited and ran to school smiling and singing. After getting picked on for having a long name, her actions change. So you can see in the explain box, I was able to support each of the site, each of the evidence pieces that I chose to include. So I showed about when Chrysanthemum dreamed that she had a different name, what that showed me as a good reader. And then I explained the example with her walking slowly and dragging her feet and explained how that showed character change. So I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side of how to race helps us write a great response compared to a response that someone might write without using the strategy race. So you can see I combined my whole answer for the question, write a prediction you made while reading the book Chrysanthemum. So the great response with race says, while reading the book Chrysanthemum, I'm I made many predictions. I made a prediction that Chrysanthemum was not looking forward to going to school because of her name. According to the text, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she had a different name, walked as slowly as she could on her way to school, and dragged her feet in the dirt. 
When Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane, this showed me that she no longer thought her name was absolutely perfect. Earlier in the story, when Chrysanthemum was on her way to school, she was excited and ran to school smiling and singing. After getting picked on for having a long name, her actions changed. So you can see that's a very detailed response with evidence and support for my answer, for my prediction. On the other side, you can see not so great responses are written without race. Someone might have just answered the question and said, I made a prediction that Chrysanthemum was not looking forward to going to school because of her name. Or, I predict that she doesn't want to go to, back to school. I think she doesn't want to go to school because of her name. She doesn't like her name anymore. She doesn't like school because of her name. So you can see these are all different variations that do answer the question, but it's not a great response. It doesn't include evidence or support to show our thinking and understanding.